Hey, it's my greatest accomplishment. What can I say? <laughs> July 27th, 1986, Paris, France. An estimated 1 billion TV viewers tune in to watch Greg LeMond take home the first American Tour de France victory. It was an exciting time in America with speculation of a renewed interest in bicycling. But what was this renewed interest? Twelve years previous, there were more bicycles sold in America than cars, as demand grew for affordable transportation. Le Mans' victory at Le Tour marked a distinct, uh, role, a distinct turn in the role of the bicycle, of, of that of a means of practical transport to something of pure recreation. But let's forget about bicycle racing for a bit. It is, of course, a zestful and healthy form of exercise, and going fast on a bike is really quite fun. But let's focus instead on a more relaxed and slower, practical bicycling. It's bicycling, bicycling that anyone can do, anywhere. It's a completely unremarkable thing that becomes normal and routine. Sometimes, something that we can embrace as simple or casual and requiring little skill or thought. Think back to when you were a child learning to ride a bike for the first time, and that smile that you got on your face? Well, you can have that forever. Uh, never have to search or pay for a parking spot again. Uh, and waiting at red lights? Well, that actually becomes a pretty uh, a pleasant activity when you're perched high atop your bike out, out in the fresh open air. The League of American Bicyclists identifies that bicycling is a boon to improve America's economy, the environment, and our personal level of joy. We all have places to go and people to see, so finding a means of transport that doesn't tax our health or our environment, or our environment unnecessarily is very beneficial. Newton's second law of motion, which reads that force equals mass times acceleration, essentially tells us that we don't need a 2,000-pound car to move around our 200-pound bodies. So the choice, the choice to travel in a more sustainable manner is up to us. We can be practical cyclists. And unlike expensive racing bikes, a practical bike is a simple one. It's one that you use to get things done without any hassle. Uh, it should be comfortable, durable, safe, and be able to carry some stuff. And ideally, it would be inexpensive. And if it's good looking, well, hey, what the heck, more power to you. Now, my life as a practical bicyclist began about a decade ago in the hilly city of Duluth, Minnesota. <laughs> I acquired a late model mountain bike with some lights, fenders, a rack, and I began doing all of my day-to-day -day travel within, within a reasonable distance of, of uh, my work and home just using my bike. And then in 2008, I took a job here in Bozeman and I, and I found that my cycling routine paired excellently with this place. I joined some cycling organizations, I was very impressed with the city's bicycling infrastructure, and I found a group of friends who didn't see bikes as something extraordinary, but just rather as a way of life. And then it came time for me to move across town. So I had this notion to do that using only my bike. So pulling a trailer behind me, I set out into the warm Montana summer, just slowly pedaling all my possessions back and forth across town. Now let me tell you, the smiles, the waves, the drop jaws of the onlookers, it's nothing short of priceless. That bike move went really well, uh, and I decided to do it again. Uh, three more times, as a matter of fact. <laughs> a few of my friends, they, they really liked the idea, and they, and they did the same. We even managed to uh, garner some local news attention. But uh, practical cycling, it's, it's not just about hauling stuff. It's not just about pulling motorcycle trailers behind bikes. It's just about getting out and riding. It's about making the healthy and environmentally conscious decision to not drive, but to instead pursue the most efficient mode of travel ever devised by humans, the bicycle. Let your bike be your go-to vehicle and save your car for those long trips. So fast forward to 2010. I was using my bicycle to get pretty much any and everywhere I needed to go, and I still employed my old trusty Subaru when I wanted to get deep into the mountains. But to really try and ride a lot, I decided to make a New Year's resolution to pedal my bike 300 of the upcoming 365 days. Now, 300, of course, is just a number, and there are plenty of others who have ridden much, much more than that. But I met the goal, and it became a benchmark for me and, and proved that one can successfully live in a cold and snowy place like Bozeman and still use a bike for pretty much all of their day-to-day -day tasks. 
So now I'm, I'm sure you're starting to think, yeah, this guy's all hardcore and he rides his bike everywhere, but you know, what about you? What, what can you do? How can you get into this practical cycling thing? Well, I suggest you start small. You know, go out and ride just once. Ride to work, ride to the store, maybe your favorite watering hole. You don't need much to get started. Check out all of our great local bike shops, or if money is a hurdle, consider the low or no cost options at the Bozeman Bike Kitchen. A front light and a rear reflector are required by law. Maybe add on some fenders and a rack, a bike lock, throw a rain jacket into your backpack, and you're pretty much good to go. That's all you need. So if you're sold on this idea, a great time to get started uh, would be Bozeman's Bike Week, which this year's festivities take place between May 12th and the 16th. So get out there and ride that week. Or consider joining the Gallatin Valley Bike Club. Sit in on one of the Bozeman uh, Bicycle Advisory Board meetings, uh, which reports directly to the city commission. Search the internet, chat with bike shops, just learn more about what's going on uh, in biking here in town. Now, I've been riding a bike for, for most of my life, but it wasn't until my late 20s that I really realized just how much money I could save, how much healthier I could be, and how much of a better steward of our land I could be by simply making some very basic changes in my transportation habits. So I urge you all, just try riding for one week, because if you can ride for one week, you can ride for one year. And if you can ride for one year, you can probably ride for a lifetime. So I look forward to seeing you all out there on the streets and give practical cycling a try.